In this video, we prove the Boltzmann theorem, which connects the entropy of a system with its probability. So, let us take a system with entropy S and its probability is omega. And we know that entropy is a function of probability. So, we can say that S equals to function of omega. Now, if we take a system with entropy S1 and probability omega 1, then we can say S1 that's equals to function of omega 1. And another system with entropy S2 and probability omega 2, then for this S2 equals to function of omega 2. And now, if we combine these two system, we get an, a new system with the entropy S12 that is equal to function of the product of the entropies that is omega 1 into omega 2. So, function of omega 1 into omega 2. And omega, uh, entropy S12 that is equal to S1 plus S2 is because this is additive. Okay. Now, if we put these values there, we get a function of omega 1 into omega 2 that is equal to function of omega 1 plus function of omega 2. Okay. Now, we have to differentiate on both sides of this equation with respect to omega 1. So, differentiating with respect to omega 1. In that case, for the left hand side, omega 2 is constant, so it comes out of the equation and remaining f dash omega 1 omega 2. Okay. And if we differentiate to the right side with omega 1, then function of omega 2 would be 0 and only function of omega 1 exists so it will be f prime omega 1 f prime means df d omega 1 ok now similarly if you differentiate the same equation with respect to omega 2 then there omega 1 is constant so it comes out of the derivative so it will be like this and in that case function of omega 1 will be 0 and remaining part uh, f prime omega 2 ok now multiply both sides of the equation with omega 1 and it will becomes like omega 1 omega 2 for f prime omega 1 omega 2 that's equal to omega 1 f prime omega 1 and take this as equation 1 and if we multiply this equation with omega 2 it will becomes like this and take this as equation number 2 now from you can see that the left hand side of equation 1 and 2 are same so we can equate the right hand side of this two equation so equating the right hand side of this equation we get this okay so we can say that this term is a constant that is so this is constant and we take this constant as k1 now for any, any arbitrary omega that is probability we can say that omega into function of omega that is equal to k1 because this is a constant okay okay now from this equation we get f dash omega that's equal to k1 by omega and now if we multiply d omega on both side it will be like k1 by omega into d omega and integral take integral on both side and it's become f omega that is equals to and there k1 is constant so it will be like d omega by omega and the integral of d omega by omega is logarithm of omega plus a new constant k2 ok now we have to calculate the value of this constant k1 and k2 ok and now for pure crystal we know that at 0 Kelvin temperature entropy becomes 0 
and there is only one combination for a pure crystal so omega is equal to 1 and we can say s equal to 0 so f omega that's also 0 because we take s equal to f omega okay we take omega equal to 1 because only one possible combination is possible for pure crystal so omega equal to 1 okay now from this if we put the values of q1 of omega and f of omega we get this and log 1 has the value of 0 so we can say that k2 is equal to 0 okay thus we get the value of k2 and the equation generalized to yes that's equal to f of omega that's equals to k1 log of omega okay now to calculate the value of k1 for this take two system that is s1 and s2 so for first one that is s2 equal to k1 log omega 2 and second one s1 equal to k1 log omega 1 okay and if we subtract these two equation then we get s2 minus s1 that is equal to k1 log omega 2 minus k1 log omega 1 and that is equal to k1 log omega 2 by omega 1 okay now for isothermal expansion of ideal gases we can say that probability that is omega proportional to v to the power n v is the volume so from that we can say that omega 2 by omega 1 that is equals to v2 by v1 to the power n and if we put the value of omega 2 by omega 1 in the equation then we get s2 minus s1 that is equals to k1 log v2 by v1 to the power whole n ok now this will be like k1 n log v2 by v1 to k1 n if we take one mole gas it will be n equal to na so k1 na log v2 by v1 that is equal to s2 minus s1 now we know that s2 minus s1 that is equal to r log v2 by v1 and if we compare this equation with the this equation then we can take that k1 na that is equal to r so k1 na is equal to r and from this we get that k1 has the value of r by na and we know that's the ratio r by n is called k that is the Boltzmann constant okay thus we get the value of k1 that is Boltzmann constant so now we can generalize the equation that s equal to k log omega this is the Boltzmann theorem connecting the entropy of a system with the probability